All right, let's go into this Raylo news here because uh, that's not going to cause the internet to talk or anything. <laughs> yes. um, so, Daisy so. Ridley, you guys heard of the Raylo? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your so, shipping name. Yeah. The shipping mm-hmm. name, you know, there's a there's a fan base that wants to see Kylo, Kylo Ren, Ren and, and Ray I end up it. together. They made Don't a lot of eyes at each other. In, they make uh, a lot of eyes. eyes. There's some there's yeah. some tension through right. the Force yeah. through, through their Force Skype. Let's hope they're not related. So, or, and maybe that's what you're into. Maybe you hope they are. And I think a lot of people are. I think the the anti Raylo are like, what if they're like. Like actually, brother and sister. Then well, you know everybody really supported the tier, uh, the Lannisters on Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. They sure uh, they don't Luke know. kissed his sister in yeah. Empire Strikes Back. It, it may, happens before you know it. Maybe so. that's the source of all the problems. You know, <laughs> I think maybe so. that's where it all starts. Um, but so uh, Daisy Ridley was chatting with uh, EW, and it says, uh, and they asked about Raylo. Does it bother you? Because you know a lot of people. <laughs> what's going on? Because I'm laughing. I'm just <laughs> laughing about her being like, so, like a serious journalist from EW is like. So what do you think about Raylo? And she's oh yeah. Like, so go on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, go on. that's, I mean, there's, there's, there's pictures out there. Uh-huh. There's there's fan art yes. out there. Oh, yeah. So a oh. lot of this is and going... It's, and it's on websites that give your computer viruses. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Trusty websites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and because at one point she was like, no, this is Raylo. Like, he murdered his father and, yeah. like, he's a bad guy. We don't yeah. want this thing. So True. now she says... It does not bother me, people writing theories about Raylo. It's really fun hearing them plus because I know what's sort of going to happen. I think it'd be really interesting to see people's reaction to the final film. Obviously, there's this whole Raylo thing and some people are very passionate about it. Some aren't. J.J. does deal with it. It's a very complex issue, obviously. People talk about toxic relationships, and whatever it is, it's no joke, and I think it's dealt with really well because it's not skimmed over. So, huh, there it so is. It's just dealing with the possibility of them becoming a couple. Right. Like yeah. we see in the trailer, she put on his hood, got Uh-oh. a different lightsaber. So we think I, that's a clone, though. We think that's a uh, Ray clone, right? Here's, here's we, we what thought I, that. Or Vision. Or I'm Lana going, I'm going Vision. No. Oh, wait. Yeah. I, Halloween I gotta party. ask you guys, <laughs> like party. Kylo can't end the series bad, right? I hope to God he does, but they're not gonna go there. Well, because here's the thing, like that mean that basically means all the heroes from the original trilogy were just the worst. They couldn't run a government, they couldn't keep the Empire from being back, they couldn't raise a kid. Right. And so the whole legacy of the original characters is just trash. Yeah. And it's like it's is a that, lot of the people talking about. I yeah. mean I, you know I mean I, he killed Han. Wait, but I mean, like Vader kid killed kids, and all he had to do was throw his boss down a tube, and everybody's like, "I guess he's good now." Oh, yeah. goes. Right. Now he's an angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now he got his wings. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be totally Star Wars nerdy here. Go. Um, yeah, that that's a big thing that they address in like a book. Yeah. When because nobody knew Darth Vader was Luke and Leia's father. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. because he dies on the Death Star, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like a secret, and then it comes out in one of the books when Leia's running for the Senate and is going to be like president uh, in that galaxy, and they're like. Uh, but we found out Darth Vader is your father, and everybody loses their shit. Yeah. So it becomes this thing, which is very interesting. I would re- recommend Bloodline. Josh Bakugi, you'd love it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I zone out cool. with Star Wars sometimes. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm a fan. Like I like it. And, and I These are uh, the nooks and crannies out there in the Star Wars universe that yeah. make it all worth okay, it. So. it, it I, I'm, I'm with you and you and maybe everybody in this room. So I you just don't want to talk about space Ren. wizards with their laser swords. Yeah. I really like space wizards and laser swords. That's it. Yeah. And I just want to talk about my love of that. And everybody who gets pissed about, well, Raylo this and 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 Anakin this or Palpatine this or whatever Snoke Let's this. Let's not open the box. Let's it, not open the yeah. box. It's <laughs> just, <laughs> this is Friday. Yeah, it's yeah. a fun show. Uh-huh. It's supposed uh-huh. to be. It's supposed I will to be. say, like, thank you. Correct. Yeah. Um, I think that Raylo is a pretty funny name for uh, of ship, but also like a good DJ name. Yeah, it's like yeah. Diplo's true. brother Raylo. Yeah, yeah. I, and on point. It's a good sitcom idea too. Here's my problem with these an evil people. wizard and his cloned like, niece. Like, like Kylo cousin. Ren opens the closet door as Ray is coming in through the front door, and they meet together. And they... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's my problem with these ship names sometimes in, in situations like this where one of the people has their full name and the other person just gets a, a little tag. Because Ray's full name is in there and just low, he, Kylo, he just gets the low. You know no, he I mean? gets yeah. the, well, he gets to just take out the K and you have the Y L O. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, I just think, you know, you want, you, want a good, you want a good, you know, like Elicity is a good mix of both the names, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I'm just saying. I, you know smoke. what? Try it, harder with your ship names. That's what I'm saying. There's been so little making out in all of the new Star Wars yes. movies that it's no. blowing my mind. And like, yeah. you know what? Lean into the fandoms. You know, like maybe lean into all the Tumblr fandoms. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, you know I was these, just gonna go there because why not? There's so when much sexual it, tension in the first three. Yeah. There's so much sand and sexual tension in the the, the prequels. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And there's none in this. I think we can all agree that these new movies don't lean enough into the fandom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? The stormtroopers were just bad. <laughs> yeah. What if there was a Death Star, but you do uh, bigger, but, but bigger, but bigger? Three but sizes you don't get bigger. it. It's bigger, yeah, yeah, yeah. guys. It's bigger, bigger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it takes uh, out uh, a whole solar system. <laughs> so at least we're getting the the Raylo connection, and and God bless everybody for wanting that to happen. Does nobody tell not? them that messing with these planets really fucks up gravitational pull? Like every time something them is like, well, what happens to gravity? That's what I. I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right. How uh, do you get a moon to move around? No. How do you build something? I'm asking the dumb yeah, questions yeah. here. This is, this <laughs> This is like when I went to the Space Interstellar. Wizards, yeah. Space Wizards. I went to the Interstellar DVD release at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. Yeah, That's yeah. super cool. And I got to interview Jonathan Nolan, who wrote Interstellar with mm-hmm. Christopher, and this like super well respected astrophysicist. He was like Stephen Hawking's second in command. Like yeah. he, this guy, uh, and he had this very weird like vocal uptick that took me out of the whole interview. And because he would be like, "Well," uh, and it, it, it would have this weird anyway. Uh, I was asking the dumbest questions possible, but as a person that knows nothing about space, I was I was like, what if we just shot trash to the moon? Can uh-huh. we do that? And the guy's like, are you serious? And I was like, <laughs> like I, I would feel like, can't we just shoot the trash into space listen. and then have it fall back down into the, he's like, that's not how the atmosphere works. Like, oh, okay, cool. Well, listen, all uh, I'm saying is we got some problems and we need to think big for some solutions. Correct. All right? mm-hmm. Yes. And we no have the bad smartest ideas. people in the world worrying about getting to Mars. Yeah. Why are we worrying about like, how can we burn trash? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It worked in the 50s. Let's try it again. Let's do it. <laughs> listen, um, in Vector Man, the classic Sega Genesis video game, we have robots. <laughs> ship those that trash to the sun vector man very underrated yeah.